Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Barb and I'm gonna show you the best way to make a classic mojito. And you might be wondering, hey, what's in a mojito? And it's really simple. It's just rum, sugar, lime, mint, and soda water. And while the ingredients are super simple, there's a million different ways to put this drink together. So I put together a little group of tasters so that we can find the best way to make this recipe. And I'm actually gonna show you two ways and I'll explain more later on in this video. So I'm gonna use my G2S cocktail shaker set. And here's what you'll need. A shaker, a jigger, a strainer, a muddler, a reamer, and a bar spoon. So some of the recipes we tried had sugar in them, but my tasters, they didn't like the sugar because it left like a granule sludge at the bottom of the glass. So you're gonna need to make a simple syrup, but it's really simple and it only takes about five minutes. It's just equal parts of water and sugar that's been put into a saucepan over the heat until the sugar is fully melted. And then once the sugar is melted, you just put it into an airtight container and that'll keep in the fridge for about a month. So another ingredient in this is limes. And some of the recipes called for cutting them up and putting them at the bottom of a glass and then muddling that. But my taste testers didn't like it that way. They said that that imparted some bitterness into the drink. And the lime already has a lot of tartness to it, but you definitely don't want bitterness. So we're gonna juice a lime using our reamer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. So next you're gonna need mint and you need about 10 mint leaves. So I'm gonna take some mint leaves off of the stem. So what you wanna do is you kinda of ball it up into the palm of your hand and then you give it a little spank. And the reason that you're doing that is to wake up the aromatics. And so next, I'm gonna take that mint and I'm gonna wipe it all around the rim of the glass. And what that does is when you're bringing it to your face, you're getting the bouquet of the mint. So put the mint at the bottom of the glass. And next, I'm gonna muddle it. But you don't wanna go all twisty twisty on it. You just wanna gently press on it because if you over pulverize it, it kinda gets bitter. So next, I need to add ice. So the star of this drink is the rum. And you're gonna need a white rum. And something that's good quality drinking rum. So you need two ounces. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lime juice in. I'm gonna put one ounce of lime juice. So on the simple syrup, it really depends on how tart your limes are because this should be very refreshing, but it really shouldn't be an overly sweet drink. So for most people, I would say start with a half an ounce and then add more simple syrup if it needs it. But I know that my limes are very tart, so I'm gonna put a whole one ounce of simple syrup. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some club soda. I need two ounces. And then give that a good mix. You wanna get the, everything mixed up really well. Everybody's hanging out in the glass. And then we're gonna garnish that. So I'll use this. And all I'm gonna do is cut a little slit going that way so we can just hang out on the side. And then I'm gonna garnish it. But wait, I have one more way to show you. Because as you can see, this has mint leaves in it, which is very classic for a mojito. But some of my taste testers, they didn't like getting mint in their mouth. So I'm gonna show you a really simple way to make a quick mojito that you won't get mint in your mouth. So we're gonna start off with putting ice in our glass and in our shaker. So same exact thing, we need 10 mint leaves. And again, I'm gonna give it a spank and then rub it around the rim so we can get that bouquet. But this time, I'm gonna put the mint in the shaker. And you don't even need to muddle it because when you're shaking the ice, the ice is gonna muddle it for you. So, let's see, we need to add two ounces of rum into the shaker, one ounce of simple syrup, and one ounce of lime juice. 
but never put carbonated beverages in a cocktail shaker because it will make it explode, make a mess. So we're gonna give it a good shake. And voila. Now we're gonna strain that into the glass. And then we're gonna add our soda water. And give that a little stir. Oh, and I need to garnish it. Must have garnish. Again on that garnish. Voila! So now you have two ways to make a mojito. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and like this video and hit the subscribe button. And I guarantee if you try this at home, you're gonna see that this is an exceptional mojito recipe. Enjoy, cheers.